What's up guys, it's NES Man back with another Fire Alarm YouTube video, and this is going to be System Test 1 of my mini Fire Alarm system with the Radionix D7022 Fire Alarm Control Panel. So let's get started. First off, we have our pull stations. So my first pull station I have up is a Johnson Controls BGX-101L, which I've converted into basically a BG-10L, conventional BG-10 with a lock. Um, so this is going to stick with a theme. All my first system tests have a theme that the panel would have, like in a real building, what the devices would be installed with it. Our next pull station is my RSG unbranded T-bar, dual action plate on it, RMS-1T, I believe is the model. Um, and both these full stations are on zone 1. Our second device is a Radionix, I think it's the model. Uh, the panel goes in the trouble when I pull the head off. D285TH, smoke and heat combo detector, two wire detector. Um, and that's on zone 2. And then moving up, we have our two notification client spots, our Wheelock NS set on code 3, and our Wheelock RSS, um, both are on 15 Candela. Now this panel has a really cool feature in it that I will show you once I activate the system. You'll see as soon as I activate it what it is. So I think I'll start with the BG-10. So in 3, 2, 1. Yes, it has two wire wheel lock, audible silence, and sync. But if you notice, it looks like one strobe is flashing, and that's because both of these strobes are in sync. I can assure you they're both working. And you can you probably hear the sync module clicking away in the panel. It uses an older wheel lock sync. So let's go ahead and re-alarm using this smoke detector. And I'm gonna grab one of my magnets real quick so that we can magnet test it. So just put it like right here. There we go. And reset it, because I can't re-alarm using the same zone. So we can test this pull station. So wait for the panel to initialize. Yes, it has to initialize, even though it's conventional. Oh shoot, forgot to, re forgot to reset the BG-10. Wonder how many of you guys caught that, actually. This is something I constantly do. There we go. And reset. Okay, so we have my RSG T bar. Final thing to test on this board. So I am just going to pull it. Lower the panel. Silence it. Let's open it up. And reset. A little tricky to do with one hand. Oh, wrong hex wrench. It's hard to keep them all straight when you have a bunch of different sizes. Kinda didn't. There we go. Okay. The spring on this is actually broken. So you have to twist it back by hand. And then let's reset the panel. Now you can see the zone one was an alarm. It's called alarm one. And then the disable button just cuts the NAX so I could pull it and it wouldn't go off. Anyway, I think that wraps up mini system test one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and come back for more content. Peace out.